The main water sources for the Jiayi water treatment plant are the Lantan and Run Tan reservoirs. Raw water is treated at the Lantan, Ganyuan, and Shuisheng water purification stations before being supplied for residential and industrial use in Jiayi City, parts of Shuisheng Township, Jungpu Township, and the Minxiong area in Jiayi County. In addition to the Lantan and Run Tan reservoirs, a small portion of the water source comes from the Zengguan Wushanto Reservoir. The raw water is conveyed through the north main canal of Qianan Canal to the Shuisheng and Xingang water purification stations for treatment and subsequent supply. Additionally, purified water from the Wushanto water purification station is provided to residents in the Jiayi area through the Izhu booster station. Based on the water supply and demand data for the Jiayi area from the Water Resources Branch in August 2022, the raw water supply in the Jiayi area is approximately 294,000 cubic meters per day. The main sources are the Reni Tan and Lantan reservoirs, which draw water from the Bazheng River, providing raw water with 254,000 cubic meters per day. Another source is the Zengguan and Wushanto reservoirs, which draw water from the Zengguan River, supplying raw water with 11,000 cubic meters per day. Additionally, independent water sources provide raw water with 18,000 cubic meters per day. Furthermore, backup water sources from Yunlin and Tainan supply raw water with 11,000 cubic meters per day. The total population served by the water supply in the Jiayi area is approximately 720,000 people. The Lantanren Itan Joint Water Supply System primarily sources its water from the Bazheng River. A connecting pipeline between the two reservoirs allows for mutual support in water storage. The system includes several water purification stations that treat the raw water to meet the residential and industrial water demands of the Jiayi area. The predecessor of the Lantan Reservoir was the Hongmapi, which is said to have been a pond developed by the Dutch around 300 years ago. During the Japanese colonial period, in response to the increasing demand for water, construction of the Lantan Reservoir began in 1942 and was completed in 1944. The Lantan Reservoir was introduced in detail in the previous episode covering the Jiayi area during the Japanese colonial era. This episode will continue with an introduction to the Ren E Tan Reservoirs. The Ren E Tan Reservoir is located in Fanlu Township, Jiayi County, upstream of the Bazheng River. It is an off-stream reservoir constructed by the RSEA, completed in June 1987. As the economy in the Jiayi area rapidly developed, the Lantan Reservoir could no longer meet the growing residential and industrial water demands. Therefore, the Ren E Tan Reservoir was built near Lantan to supplement the water supply. The reservoir sources its water from the Bazheng River and features an off-stream embankment dam. It has a catchment area of approximately 3.66 square kilometers and an annual water supply capacity of 52 million cubic meters. The primary purpose of the reservoir is to supply water to the Jiayi area. The water source for the Ren E Tan Reservoir comes from the Zhushan Weir, located about 50 meters downstream from the Wufeng Bridge on Provincial Highway 3. The Zhushan Weir is a free overflow weir with a crest elevation of 114.7 meters, a length of 129 meters, and a height of 5.7 meters. On the right side, there is a sluiceway with two gates. The water intake point is situated on the right bank of the weir, featuring a roller-type vertical lift gate with a maximum intake capacity of 25 cubic meters per second. The water intake point directs water to a grit removal tank, and after a 1.5 kilometer head race, the water flows into a submerged river before entering the Ren E Tan Reservoirs. The dam body of Ren E Tan Reservoirs is a zoned rolled fill earth dam with a crest elevation of 108 meters, a height of 28 meters, a length of 1,535 meters, and a crest width of 9 meters, making it the longest dam in Taiwan. The spillway is located on the right side of the main dam and is equipped with a flap sluice gate. The gate is 2.5 meters high, 9 meters wide, and has an overflow crest elevation of 102.5 meters. 
The purpose of the distribution works is to utilize water from the Ren E Tan reservoirs in conjunction with the Lantan Reservoir. With the development of the economy and the increase in residential and industrial water usage, the original capacity of the Lantan Reservoir became insufficient to meet the demand. To augment the raw water supply for the Lantan Reservoir, the Ren E Tan Reservoir was planned not only for its own storage but also to provide raw water to the Lantan Reservoir. Consequently, during the construction of the Ren E Tan Reservoir, a 1.2 meter wide vertical water intake tower was installed on the northwest side of the reservoir. This tower directs water into a 112.8 meter long water diversion tunnel, connecting it to the Lantan Reservoir. The Ren E Tan Reservoir also serves as one of the water sources for the Ganyuan Water Purification Station. The water distribution from the reservoir involves drawing water from the distribution works, where the flow is measured by a partial flume, and then transported through a 1,200 mm steel pipeline that runs along the reservoir's edge to the Ganyuan Water Purification Station for use. The outlets are located on the right side of the main dam and consist of a 15-meter long tunnel and two high-pressure gates. The upstream side of the tunnel is equipped with a maintenance gate, while the downstream side has a regulating gate, each with a diameter of 1.8 meters. The primary function of the outlets is to regulate the water level of the Ren E Tan Reservoir. When there is excess water, it is discharged from the reservoir into the Bazhang River. A partial flume is installed along the way to measure the discharge flow. The water intake process for the Ren E Tan Reservoir begins with water from the Bazhang River flowing into the water intake point at the Zhushan Weir. After passing through a grit removal tank, the water is directed through a 1.5 km long water headrace. It then reaches a submerged weir near Ida Temple, where further sedimentation occurs before the water finally flows into the reservoir through energy dissipators. The Lantan Water Purification Station is located next to the Lantan Reservoir in the eastern hilly area of Jia'i City. It was completed in 1974, with a designed output capacity of 52,000 cubic meters per day. The primary headwater for the station is the Lantan Reservoir. The water purification equipment at the Lantan Water Purification Station includes a pumping station, sedimentation tanks, flash mixers, flocculation basins, rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, a wastewater detention basin, sludge thickeners, and sludge drying beds. The water purification process at the Lawn 10 Water Purification Station begins with raw water being pumped into the raw water conduit, which then flows into the sedimentation tanks and rapid sand filters. After these steps, the water is chlorinated for disinfection and then directed to the clear water reservoirs. From there, it is supplied to the residents of Jia'i City. The sludge that settles out during sedimentation is transferred to the wastewater detention basins, where it is concentrated and dried. The Lantan Water Purification Station utilizes a gravity water supply system, serving areas including parts of Jia'i City, Shuasheng Township, and parts of Zhengpu Township in Jiayi County. The Ganyuan Water Purification Station is located next to the Lantan Reservoir in Jiayi City. It was built in 1914 and was formerly known as the Jiayi Waterworks during the Japanese colonial period. Nearby is Jiayi Senior High School, which was established in 1924 during the Japanese colonial period as the Tainan Prefecture Jiayi High School. The Ganyuan Water Purification Station initially had a maximum output capacity of 3,750 cubic meters per day, making it the first water purification station established in Jia'i City. To accommodate the growing demand for residential water, the station underwent three expansions in 1930, 1989, and 1993, increasing its designed output capacity to 200,000 cubic meters per day. The raw water for the Ganyuan Water Purification Station is sourced from the, the Ren E Tan Reservoir. It is conveyed through a partial flume, a 1,200 mm steel pipeline, and a 3.4 km open channel to a Baroque-style water intake gate at the purification station. Most of the water supply from this station is delivered using a gravity water supply system. 
The water purification equipment at the Ganyuan Water Purification Station includes flash mixer, sedimentation tanks, rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, wastewater basins, sludge thickeners, and sludge drying beds. The sedimentation process at the Ganyuan Water Purification Station differs from that of typical water purification stations, where sediment usually settles at the bottom of the basin. At the Ganyuan Water Purification Station, the outflow rate is controlled to keep the silt suspended in the water. Over time, this suspension forms a layer of sludge that floats in the water. This sludge blanket helps to filter out larger particles from the raw water. The water purification process at the Ganyuan Water Purification Station begins with raw water from the Ren E Tan Reservoir entering the station. The water undergoes coagulation and disinfection in the flash mixers, followed by filtration through sedimentation tanks and rapid sand filters. Afterward, a secondary dosing of chemicals is added, and the water is stored in the clear water reservoirs before being supplied to Jia E City. Wastewater is directed to the wastewater basins, where it is concentrated and the clarified upper layer water is recovered. The lower layer sludge is dried on the sludge drying beds. The Ganyuan Water Purification Station primarily supplies water through a gravity-fed system, serving areas including Jia E City, Minxiang, Xingang, and Dalin. Additionally, water is mutually allocated with the Lantan Water Purification Station to supply Jia E City. As the population of Jiayi County and city increased, the demand for tap water exceeded supply and water sources were insufficient. Therefore, the first phase of the Shuisheng Water Purification Station was constructed in 1974 and completed in July 1977 to supplement the water supply from the Lantan and Ganyuan Water Purification Stations, and to improve drinking water in the coastal areas affected by Blackfoot disease. The Shuisheng Water Purification Station is located in Shuisheng Township, Jiayi County, with a main water source from the Lantan Reservoir and the Qianan Canal Water Intake Point, covering an area of 5.2 hectares. The second phase of expansion was completed in 1983, bringing the total designed output capacity to 102,000 cubic meters per day. Furthermore, to ensure a stable water supply to the Jiayi area and alleviate regional supply pressure, the third phase of expansion began in 2017 and was completed in 2021. After the completion of the third phase, the total designed output capacity reached 140,000 cubic meters per day. The water purification equipment at the Shuisheng Water Purification Station includes water intake point, pumping wells, distribution wells, flash mixers, flocculation basins, sedimentation tanks, rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, wastewater regulation basins, wastewater sedimentation basins, sludge thickeners, and sludge drying fields. For water quality monitoring, in addition to professional monitoring instruments, the Shuisheng Water Purification Station also uses fish monitoring. The behavior, number, and activity levels of the fish in the monitoring tanks are observed to determine whether the raw water has been contaminated, thus deciding whether to continue diverting raw water from the streams. The water purification process at the Shuisheng Water Purification Station involves sourcing water from the North Main Canal of the Qianan Canal and the Lantan Reservoir Water Intake Point. The raw water is pumped from the pumping well to the distribution well, then passes through the flash mixers, flocculation basins, and sedimentation tanks, where solids settle out. The water then enters the rapid sand filters for filtration before finally being stored in the clear water reservoir and supplied to the urban areas for residential use. Wastewater is directed to the wastewater sedimentation basins, where it is concentrated in the sludge thickeners. The clarified liquid is reused, and the sludge is dried in the sludge drying fields. The water supply area of the Shuisheng Water Purification Station primarily includes Jiayi City and various urban areas in Jiayi County. In addition to the Lantan and Ren E Tan reservoirs, the public water supply in the Jiayi area also includes a joint supply from the Tainan region. The primary water source for the Xingang Water Purification Station is surface water from the Wu Shanto Reservoir drawn via the North Main Canal of the Qianan Canal. Additionally, 
the Izhu Booster Station delivers purified water from the Wu Shanto Water Purification Station to the coastal areas of Jiao Yi. The Xingang Water Purification Station was established in December 1976, located next to the Qianan Canal in Xingang Township, Jiao Yi County. The main headwater is surface water purchased from the Wu Shanto Reservoir under the Southern Region Water Resources Office, drawn through the North Main Canal of the Qianan Canal. When surface water supply is suspended, groundwater is extracted, and additional support is provided by the Ganyuan Water Purification Station or Linyai Water Purification Station in Yunlin. The water purification equipment at the Xingang Water Purification Station includes collecting wells, distribution wells, rapid flocculation clarifiers, rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, wastewater basins, and sludge drying fields. The water purification process at the Xingang Water Purification Station begins with raw water being drawn from the North Main Canal of the Qianan Canal into the water intake well. It then flows through the distribution well, rapid flocculation clarifiers, and rapid sand filters before being stored in the clear water reservoirs. The wastewater generated during the purification process is sent to the wastewater basins, while the sludge is transferred to the sludge drying fields for drying. The Xinguang Water Purification Station mainly supplies areas within its jurisdiction, including Xinguang, Puzi, and parts of Beigang in Yunlin. The Izhu Booster Station is located in Izhu Township, Jiayi County. Its water source comes from the Wu Shanto Water Purification Station, and its main function is to boost the water from the purification station for supply to the coastal areas of Jiayi. It serves as a backup water source for the Jiayi water supply system. The water sources in the Jiayi area during the Japanese colonial period primarily came from nearby waterworks. Subsequently, Due to rapid population and industrial development, the existing waterworks were expanded, and the Run Yi Tan Reservoir and Water Purification Station were constructed, along with a joint water supply system with Tainan. The Jiayi area is mainly supplied by the Lantan Run Yi Tan Reservoir System, followed by the Zhengwen Wu Shanto Reservoir System located in Tainan. Today, we have sufficient water for both domestic and industrial use, and we enjoy the conveniences of civilization all thanks to the efforts and contributions of personnel involved in public water supply.